Hi guys, I'm Joe the Multiboxer, and I'm going to help you get set up with Star Trek Online and IS Boxer. So first of all, in the Interspace menu, make sure you have Star Trek Online in the menu. If you do not, then use Add Game to put it there. You can drag the desktop shortcut right to the Add Game window and click OK. Now in the Interspace menu, we do have Star Trek Online. Now back in IS Boxer, under Wizards, we can use Quick Setup Wizard. Which game would you like to set up? Star Trek Online. On this page, we pick our characters. Uh, my characters are Joe 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That makes it sort of easy. All right, next, choose a name for your team. I'm putting STO5, but you can use whichever, whatever name is going to help you identify this team of, of your characters. So the next page is the window layout style. There's lots of different choices based on your monitors and your characters. I'm going to use this one for this video. The next page is the CPU strategy. This will help you pick um, load balancing for your uh, game instances. I'm going to use select all CPUs with every window. You can see it has five game instances on each of the cores and eight cores per game instance. <clears throat> and the last page, this is uh, how would you like to control the game. The styles you're going to want to want or want to use for this are going to be standard or pro MMO. Um, on this page, you're going to want to look at these hotkeys because you're going to be using them. Alt F for follow, Alt A for assist. Um, broadcasting mode, I'm going to use MR on my keyboard. It's just a special key on my G510 keyboard, but it defaults to Shift Alt R. Activate next window. This will rotate to the next window one at a time. I'll set that to Control X. Now, in, this one down here is important. If you do not want one through equals to automatically broadcast and uncheck this box. If you do, then you either have the option of invisible uh, mappings for this or a menu, which goes, it's a transparent overlay that goes over your action bar in the game. Now, with this, the uh, positioning of the bar in the game will move while you play um, based on whether you're in space or on the ground. But I'm going to show you using the menu and um, on game key bindings we're going to want to set this table up uh, this is the targeting table of how to how each of the guys targets each of the other guys and that's going to help us with the follow and assist buttons now with this game if you invite in the right order and you join in the right order Star Trek Online puts the, the character at the bottom of the party list um, one after the other so we can use the auto fill button um, in order to fill these in in the right order Follow target and assist target. Now these uh, Star Trek Online does have these key bindings, all four of them. Um, I'm not going to use focus target, um, but I will set interact. Um, I have my interact key set as U in the game. It defaults to F, I think. Um, follow I have set up as F in the game. And assist, they don't have a key binding built in for this. Um, you have to use the bind command in the game, and I'll show you how to do that. But assist is going to be, um, I'll use F11. <clears throat> so that's um, that completes the wizard. We can click finish. And it's got everything set up that we actually need to start with. Um, I'll show you real quickly the key maps. Under non-combat, this is where we have the follow and assist. Now you can see when you press Alt-F, something's going to happen when you press or release Alt-F. So if, when you press it, it's going to target your, your, uh, whichever guy you're playing. Target slot, whichever. If you're in window 1, everybody's going to try to target window 1. Um, and then on step 2, when you let go of Alt F, um, it's going to try to follow you using the follow um, key that we set up at the end of the wizard. And the assist works basically the same way. Interact with target. Um, that's the U button that I set up. Um, it defaults to F in the game. I'm going to go ahead and set the hotkey for this to Alt U so that, uh, well, when we run up to an NPC or something, we can just press Alt U to, um, to use the, the bars that are in front of us on the screen once we get in the game. Combat, um, this is empty by default because we're using the menu. Um, but if we use the other option at the end of the Quick Setup Wizard, this would have the keys for 1 through equals. And always on, this is where we've got the formations menu toggle. I, have, I can show you that in the game. Um, next window, the key that I set up to rotate to the next window. Um, the activate repeat 
That's the broadcasting mode toggle that I set up to MR. Yours might be Shift Alt R by default. And activate maps that's going to toggle the combat and non-combat hotkeys and it'll turn on and off the menu hotkeys as well. Um, under menus, we'll look at this a little bit once we get into the game because we're going to have to set up um, the menu template, standard menu template. This is going to have to match um, the size of the, the action bar in the game. And this is set to 12 buttons. There's only 10 uh, buttons in Star Trek Online, 1 through 0 instead of 1 through equals. So that's pretty much it. The character sets, I'm going to set this mute option, mute background game window audio and unmute foreground window audio. And that's going to let us only hear the, the one window at a time. Uh, since we have make game believe it is foreground window uh, checked, um, the game doesn't know when it's in the background in order to shut off its own audio. So we can do that for it. Uh, so from there, save and export. Um, exporting automatically saves. Interspace configuration exported successfully. And now we can launch our team. So I will be right back after we get everything launched. All right, we're back. Um, I've got my Star Trek Online windows up. All I did was launch my team through the Interspace menu, and um, each launcher came up one at a time. I typed in my username and password for each one that comes up, and um, brings up the game window. So once we've got all of them up, here's uh, Welcome to IS Boxer 41, this big message about the see-through green squares. Um, we talked about this during the Quick Setup Wizard. Um, this is to go over your action bar once we get into the game. So this explains that in order to move it, you hit Control shift alt g to bring up the IS Boxer control panel, which lets us move these things around. Um, I'll get that in the right spot once we get in the game. Uh, this one is the key map and, and broadcasting mode toggles. I like it right about there. The sync button, or there's one right here, sync visible menu positions, um, that puts it in the same spot in each window. And the save all menu positions will store it so that the next time we launch our team, those come up in the, in the same spot we left them. So now that we've done that, we understand this message, go ahead and click it off. And uh, let's turn on broadcasting with this button here, or my MR button on the keyboard. Um, for you, that might be Shift-Alt-R. Okay, so play. All right, here we go. Got all my guides. Um, I happen to be all in the same instance, but if you're not in this game, you can press the M key. I use repeater and press M and click on change instance and then get in the same instance of the area you're in in order to play with your team. So all my guys are right here. Um, let's get started with the key bindings first. In the options menu, I'm doing this on all screens at the same time. Go ahead and click Options, and under Key Bindings, this is where we're going to find the Follow Target key. Make sure that's F. Um, I set mine to F. Yours can be something else, but make sure it's the same key on all screens. And the Interact key is down here under Targeting and Interaction. Mine is set to U. That's F by default. Um, but as I said in the Game Key Bindings uh, tab at the last page of the Quick Setup Wizard, um, this is U and follow is F for our settings. Once you've got that set, push OK. And now turn off key maps because we're going to use the chat window in order to type in the bind command for assist. Um, so slash bind space F11, my key for assist in this game is going to be F11. And that's what we set in the quick setup wizard. Now bind F11 assist is the command name. Just like that, slash bind, space, F11, space, assist. Okay, and I'm doing this on all windows at the same time using broadcasting. And press enter. Now all of my guys um, have F11 set as assist. Turn key maps back on since we're done with the chat window. And now I can show you if I press Alt F, then all of my guys will follow. My guys follow. Whoops, oh, we're not in the group. Ha. All right, slash invite get all my guys and we're going to do this in the order um, that we listed them in IS Boxer and as you see each of the guys get added to the bottom of the party list slash invite joke 4 so I'll get all five of my guys into the group and they're all going to be in order um, so that way the targeting table matches up the one that we set up in IS Boxer um, at the end of the quick setup wizard now Alt F 
will correctly follow me. Whichever window I'm in, um, if I'm this guy instead, Alt F will make them follow this guy. So that works fine. Um, and now I'll go over here and show assist. Um, we need to talk to this person. Um, Alt A is going to make them pick up the same target. Now if I check every window, they've all got this dude targeted. So we'll go over here and um, show you interact. Whoops. I'm still learning the game's controls a little bit here. Okay, so we get close enough and the bar comes up. Um, this is where we set up the Alt U um, to press U on all the windows. So I'll go ahead and do that. Alt U. All right. And um, now this explains some things about the game. And we can click through that or I'm um, going to click done. Um, just get on with it. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do that for right now. Follow me, guys. Um, what I'm going to do is go attack something. Oh, first let's let's check out the menu. Um, uh, remember, I already set it to ten buttons, but they're a little bit bigger um, than what is set up in the game. Now uh, they're gonna have to be skinnier and maybe a little bit taller. Um, so let's uh, drag IS Boxer over here. Let's see. And under menus, standard menu, and then under the menu templates, click on standard. Now this is where we set the button width and height, um, the number of buttons, and um, the margin between the buttons. Now I think I'm going to want to go with one pixel margin and um, try about a 37 width. All right, once you do that, and then you export again, and it will show up in the game. That's about right. We'll go with that for now. Might be a little bit different, but you get the idea. Um, so I'll sync that and save. And now if I'm clicking on the action bar, then that will uh, send that same button to the other windows. Um, or by pressing one or, or whichever button, that's automatically going to go to the other windows. Now again, it, once you go into space mode when you're flying your ships, um, it moves the the action bar is going to be up here a little bit instead of down here. Um, now you can move it or you can leave it in the same spot and not click, um, but it might be uh, something for you to worry about once you get into your ship. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and target a drone, press Alt A. Now all my guys have them targeted. Uh, whoops, that one already died. Let's get a new one. Let's see. We'll go up here. Use your kit power. I don't want to do that. Okay. So we'll just go up here and find something to attack. Let's go guys. Everybody assist. They've all got the same target and now I'll just uh, be pressing 1 and everybody's shooting at these targets. Now the game is automatically picking additional targets. So you saw I didn't even target a next thing and the game automatically picked up the next one. I believe that's a setting in the game that you can disable if you want. Um, so yeah, that's basically the game. All I did was run up and target things and press Alt A to assist to, in order to hit the same thing. Um, and then I just pressed 1 a bunch and my guys killed the drones. So that is basically the game and everything you should need to know to get started um, playing Star Trek Online with IS Boxer. So if you have any questions, come to the IS Boxer chat room. Um, there's lots of people that know uh, how to use IS Boxer, and they hang out in the chat room. Um, there's also the isboxer.com forums. Um, if you have questions, something doesn't work exactly the way I showed you, then uh, go ahead and ask us. Um, there's no reason to spend hours and hours trying to figure it out uh, when it's probably something that takes just a minute. So, yeah, good luck multiboxing Star Trek Online.